Rồi cái nửa mới nó 200 tròn bây giờ các bà này bới nó bá giờ nó 200 tròn bây giờ 215 bới nó. Cái cái giờ thì bây giờ 200 tròn cái ấy cái bao này. Ờ có người 200 người 200 đi. I'm witnessing some first hand Vietnamese market haggling. It's very uh, aggressive. Uh, you know from here. birthday cards for me from Vietnam. Rang and I have always talked about visiting Vietnam, so it's great to have him by my side as we explore the restaurant scene in Hanoi. In 1995, Vietnam established diplomatic relations with the U.S., bringing Western cultural influences to the East. But nothing has had more of an impact on Vietnamese culture than the 60 years spent under the rule of the French colonial empire. Eventually, the French left Vietnam but the influence on its cuisine remained. Rang and I are trained in French cooking. So for us, a lot of the food in Hanoi is made up of familiar elements. Pho is a combination of Vietnamese rice noodles and French meat broths. Baguettes were introduced in Vietnam by the French, which were then combined with Vietnamese stuffings of meats and pâtés to become a popular fast food in Vietnam called banh mi. So we're here in Hanoi in Vietnam. We're linking up with Hugo, who's an amazing French chef. He's from Paris. And now he's going to bring me to a uh, breakfast pho spot. So where's Hugo? I don't know. We're going to see him. I think he's supposed to meet us. Is this Hugo? Oh, he's a white hello, guy. Hello, there you go, the friend. Hello, hey. sir. How are the one you? White guy. Oh, shit. You look more oh. tiny than on the video. Yeah. yeah. What's happening to you? Yeah? You got on diet or what? I'm on diet? I'm on Vietnamese yeah. diet. A lot, lot of love. So let's have a good breakfast. It's beautiful weather here. It's winter, huh? Uh, oh, yeah, preparing for Tet. Yeah. Always the weather is shit here. <laughs> I'm really excited to get some pho. I eat pho back home about four or five times a week. Keep cool, mate. Maybe it's closed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the place might be closed. Who knows? It's only open in the mornings. You know how to cross the road in Vietnam? Yeah, I heard you just walk. If you stop, that's when you get Don't hit Maddie. He broke your bike. No. This Bye. is pho. Pho, Bye bye, day. Three? They see the guys with all the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so they take the money? <laughs> so it's like a drug deal. <laughs> Hanoi is lit. The paparazzi, shout out to the paparazzi. <laughs> Kim Kardashian over here. Yeah. Is this chair gonna break? Yeah. What? Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Oh, that's quick. You see these places are? Yeah. No, any. Signage, There's no, no marketing, <laughs> no name, it's just the fur on that place. Everybody know it. These guys are waking up at 4 in the morning. They cook the broth across the street. OK, so what's the main ingredients in the pho? Uh, you get the beef rolls with the bones. Yeah. They cook the brisket inside. And then uh, you get the spice, you get cardamom, 
scallions, lemongrass, and ginger. And, then and actually, it. they just roast it, yep. you know, to enhance the flavor, the and then they add it in the in the broth with the bones. And then they just serve the broth until they're out, and then once the broth is out, that's it. That's all the fall for today. They have the fatty brisket, and that's what they're making the stock with. You got fresh lime, you got the raw onion, Chili. you got your egg. The origin of pho, uh, like from my understanding, comes from like the French colonization of pot-au-feu. Pot 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 Can be. But uh, you never, you never show 100%. Some people say that pho comes from pot au from France. Some people say it comes from Belgium. Does the hamburger come from Hamburg? I don't know. But I know that right now in Hanoi, I'm having the best Vietnamese soup I've ever had in my life. Wow. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful day. I think you're gonna be really pretty with that one. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> so it's raining out. I didn't bring a jacket for some reason. I just brought a hoodie. So we got that, we got the pink plug on this one. We got the rain jacket plug. Oh, wow. Dip tie. So here we got all the fruits. So this is a typical Vietnamese snack. People eat it okay. uh, all during the day. Yeah. I think it's really healthy. Uh, it just is fruit uh, fermented with uh, chili, yeah. uh, sugars, and they just keep. Sounds it perfect. Yeah. Oh, the mango is unbelievable. It's amazing. Shit. Yeah. Give me a bite. OK, let's go get some coffee. Who are you yeah. doing, your buddy? Yeah, 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 call him now. So we're going to meet uh, one of my Gavros chefs okay. called Zui. He's Zui? A, yeah, he's Zui. a great chef. He's yeah. the owner of a restaurant called La Folie. And yeah. now we're just, just going to catch up for our coffee. Oi, Zui! Zui! Oi, Zui, oi! Ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Hey. Ça va bien. Hey. <laughs> See, this is Best the coffee with your girls. Little chairs are ah. out! OK, guys, so uh, let's take a typical Hanoian coffee. Yep. We call yes. it uh, Noda. It's no made uh, brown with ice. It's super dark roasted, and they roast their beans actually with cocoa beans. It's almost like iced chocolate milk that has tons and tons of caffeine. And then right now, you got a coffee milkshake right here, baby. Yeah. Sante. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sante. Yeah, yeah. Woo. You drink iced coffee, you chew on sesame seeds. In France, maybe Campari and soda, maybe Pernod. You sit around all day drinking. Right now, Talk about shit. in Hanoi, this is where it's at. This is the scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My friend opened is a real place where they make uh, pancake. Yeah. No bullshit. No it's bullshit. Like from, just no, perfect French crepes. From Brittany. And okay. uh, it's part of the Gavroche Association. In recent years, a new wave of young French chefs like Hugo have moved to Vietnam. Rang and I met up with some of them to learn a little bit more about the relationship between Vietnamese and French food and what brought them to Hanoi. So why is there so many French chefs here in Hanoi right now? Uh, I think that most of French people, the, the first, they come here for holidays. They yeah. really enjoy the place, and then they decide to stay. Tell us about when you first moved here. Was there as many young French chefs, or did you know a lot of people? No, I come here uh, with a famous chef called Didier Corlou. OK. Uh, and uh, when I arrived, it was really few, few chefs. Đầu nó ăn có Pháp. Năm nào mới bắt đầu thực hiện. Duy ở bên Pháp về, thế là bắt đầu Duy bắt đầu công việc nấu ăn ở trong một nhà hàng Pháp. Theo anh nghĩ là cái giống như cái cái đồ ăn chẳng hạn là của mình là cái cái có cái bò tái chanh, cái Pháp là cái steak tartar. Tám mươi phần trăm đồ ăn của mình theo anh nghĩ là nó influence nó nó giống như đồ ăn của Pháp. Thì mình chế tạo chút xí thì cái đồ ăn mình hơi cay và hơi mặn chút xí ha. Còn đồ ăn Pháp thì nó dính nước gì chẳng hạn là nấu gì sauce, bơ, red wine này nọ ha. Thì quá đẹp. This is a new place, only yeah. two, two weeks. Oh, really? Two oh, weeks? Yeah, two weeks? Oh, amazing. OK. Before we have a... It's, very, it's beautiful. Yeah, you yeah. need to try. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we should try. make... I'm sure you cannot make a proper pancake. We will. Can you? I can. Okay. Well, we'll see. see. I haven't yeah, made a crepe yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Perfect. All the yeah. time, butter, because... Lots of butter? Yeah. You can put your eggs. See, this is so perfect. It's just like the ham, the butter, the egg, the perfect crepe. It's really a beautiful representation of where you come from. Mm. Mm. It's so good. No. But me, I will put more butter. No, I can see why you're well known for crepes. And 
how you can exist in Vietnam, you know? Now I gotta try to make a crepe so I can show this guy I'm not a asshole. Hugo is talking shit. Now I'm gonna show him that I can make a crepe. First time? If you do your pork cake properly, I will drink one more, Rika. Kind of... No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. It's garbage. One more time. It's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. You forget to put butter. On. No, I put butter on this side, chef. You know what you're doing. Okay. Now butter. You make the classic, the complete. Ah. Okay, now, guy. Okay. First time. Come on, I. First time. First time. Good. Yeah, First good. Time. Yeah. Holy shit! Bit too thick. It's a bit too thick. This guy's too thick. Hugo's an asshole. Rang and I went and searched for the perfect tailor because he dresses like Samuel Jackson on a press junket for Jackie Brown. And I dress like a fat Ace Ventura. What kind of suit you want to get? I don't know, something like a very slicky, Fancy moochie. Sleeky moochie? There's a suit. You want, hey, hi. Hello. Ah. Hello? Hello? Hello, Coco, Chachi. Chachi. Do you think she can make us a suit? I think, look at this. I think we're in the we're in the right spot. Right spot, right time. So I'm here at Complete Veston, the best suit store in all of Hanoi. Me and Rang are going to get matching suits. OK. <laughs> <laughs> He's a small neck, very small neck, and then small, small penis. What? Like a Vietnamese egg roll. Wow, the fifty. I'm doing. It's a challenge. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she needs that. You see? She literally has yeah. to get Rang to help her because her arms don't go around me. This is not good for my self-esteem. Is that it? Yeah, you're done. So that's it. Thirty seconds, and all of a sudden, Maddie and Rang got some kick-ass suits. Twins. Twins. Oh. Ow! This guy's got a nice photo. Do I get a photo in there? Yes. Yeah? yeah? She like you, man. She like you. She like you. Excuse me? Yeah, thank you. Here, let me get that for you. I don't toss you, Maddie. No, it's fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. I swear to God, gay. Ciao! Today. Okay, bye bye. More kiss? <laughs> bye. Right. Bye, Ben. Bye, bye buddy, Ben! <laughs> what the f? What's that? <laughs> this is what she just brought out. What size is this? Why is she laughing so much? Why is she laughing so much? Why is she laughing at me? She's laughing. Whoa. What's that? What's that? Do you guys rent these? Yeah, you yes. looking to rent a bike? Yeah. Yeah. My Looks question good. is, do you know how to ride a sidecar bike? I can do it. I can, I can ride anything. <laughs> right, do you even have a motorcycle? So you don't trust me, and you want him to Why get killed? I just never, I've known you for 15 right, years, right. and you never mentioned a motorcycle. Okay, now, okay, stop it. This, stop crying. The traffic is crying. I take him out. We're about to see Hanoi, baby. This place is hectic as With more jobs and better roads, Vietnam has seen its motorbike population rise drastically because people can afford a scooter over a car. for a few days now. We want to see a little bit more of Hanoi. We've been stuck kind of like in the downtown core, but what better way to see Hanoi riding around in a motorcycle with a sidecar. As the sun sets through every day. As it shines. Don't understand, but the 
it was amazing to be a part of the city, you know? Like, I feel like to be a part of Hanoi, you have to be on a motorcycle. It's just like schools of fish. No! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! I love Hanoi! Master Rang is a G on the bike, baby. A natural. Look at this guy. Look after him. Take care of him before his wife is going to kill me. Me and Master Rang get to cook for Hugo and all his crew, and I'm really excited. So we're here at the local Hanoi market. We got to get everything that we need. We're gonna make like almost like a master stock, so we're gonna be doing chicken, beef, pork, and we're doing it all classic French style, but with Vietnamese ingredients. Yes. So this is the herb lady. Beautiful lemongrass. Yeah. Yeah, she get some ginger. Yeah. Hey. Hi, chào cô. Fine, bully base. Look at this, manta shrimp. So this is crazy. This is a manta shrimp. So this is this is part of the shrimp family, and it looks like a praying mantis. Half praying mantis, half shrimp. What's that? Two two million? Hai triệu. Two. Lấy hai triệu chẳng đúng không? Cho khỏi cha mẹ làm ơn cái đi. Bây giờ lấy hai triệu. I like when the, every time every time they give you the bill, they smile at you. This is gonna be like two million dong worth of seafood. The best bully base I've ever seen. Còn bạn là 200 đúng hay chẳng hả? Không, 215. 215. Đây, 215. 215. 215. Đấy, tiền mai để dành cứu vợ, để mai để dành cứu vợ. Is there a place in here that we can get like fresh knives? I didn't bring my knives. Shank right here. It's rusty. Yeah, look, made in Vietnam. Rusty. Five? Yeah, there you go. We need some beef. So this is brisket here. And then ask her if she has any beef bone. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Cool, cool. Yeah. There you go. Master rank. Master rank. Master chef. Are you going to cut it in here? <laughs> You're going to cut your hand off, dude. She did it better. Ow. OK, yeah, perfect. You had a girl wrist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two million. Two million. One hundred thousand and fifty dollars. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we paid. How much did we pay for all those groceries right now? I don't know. A few hundred thousand dollars. A few hundred thousand dollars. So those huge bags of groceries is about twenty bucks. Why can you get in Canada? A massage. A massage was four hundred. Don't even say anything about Rang, Rang got a massage the oh, other night. I did. And he. It would cost four hundred and twenty. Yeah. But. Rang asked if they yeah. could help him out oh, after stop, do the man stop. thing. No, no man thing. And he said no, because no. they're nice people here yeah. in Vietnam. So we came to the market. We got everything that we need. We got fish. We got chicken. For a handful. We got, we're, our hands are full. We got the beef. I'm excited to get cooking. Me and Master Rang. Oh, she said you're fat. <laughs> We're gonna go to Zui's spot. Yeah. He said that we can prep at his kitchen. So yeah. sweet, they're closed today. Hey, you, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. How are you? Hey, How are you? Hey, How are you? Doing, baby? Ah, beautiful. This is amazing, Zui. Thank you so much. So we're gonna be cooking for all of our buddies. Cooking is the way that uh, you can really show your love. So we're making three classic dishes for a bunch of French chefs of Vietnam, and we're making a beautiful bouillabaisse, coco vin, and a pot au feu. So I'm making some chicken stock, so I bring it up to a boil, then I'll start skimming. Right here, we're making our, our beef stock. We got beef shin. I threw in some pig's feet just to give it that body. We threw in some spices. We got star anise, cardamom, cinnamon, clove. Roasted those off, threw those in there. We're gonna take a whole Wagyu ribeye, roast that, slice that. This is the stuff that I learned from Master Rang back in the day, you know, 15 years ago. This is the kind of stuff that we we cooked a lot of. 15 minutes, guys. Okay. Okay, we. Oui. We got a lot of friends waiting for you. And Thank ginger. You. Yeah. Oh, That's it, Dad. No right. ginger in French food. Yes, 15 chef. minutes, okay. huh? Wait for you upstairs, guys. All right, okay, we'll bring it up. Right. Yes, chef. No, chef. Yes, chef. Hugo doesn't know how to cook French food. A oh, two. Coco van. Chicken cooked in red wine. Back in the day, Rang always talked about visiting Vietnam together. 
I never thought it would actually happen, but here we are, halfway across the world, cooking together in Hanoi. All right, let's see, guys. This is what it's all about. I'm traveling with my best friend to a different part of the world. We got amazing food. We got amazing company. So, Mari, what are you feeling about Hanoi? I'm blown away. First of all, I've never been to, Asia. you know, Asia ever. Hanoi is an amazing place and amazing people, and I'm just happy to be here, man. Hugo is a tough man to please, but he and his expat buddies seem to love the meal we prepared for them. It was a great way to pay them back for being such generous hosts during our time in Hanoi. That was Jared. It's a beautiful night. It's our last night. We came to Hanoi. We ate Hanoi. Love Hanoi. Now, let's cross the street. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, whoa, whoa. God love. Something a bit. It is it. Our time in Vietnam has come to an end. And it's been a crazy experience. Hanoi's growing food scene is amazing. Even it was born out of a troubled past. Although Vietnam's food culture has been shaped by outside influences, it's earned its own distinct identity. What better way to explore the restaurants and meet chefs in Hanoi than with Master Rang by my side? So it must feel good to have your hair out. It's so beautiful. Very handsome. Very handsome. I Looks am. like two doves kissing. Not only did I get to eat loads of authentic Vietnamese food, but I also learned a little more about what inspired Master Rang to pursue a career in French cuisine. Hi, how, how are you? You, you all right? <laughs> Rang and I will always have a love affair with Vietnamese food and each other. That's perfect. Yeah. That is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> what the f is that? I look like a f***ing woman, man. That's, ah, that's look so like good. You look, you look like you. No, that's amazing. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs>